everybody, welcome into the show tonight. I am Brian Keating. He is Carson Cunningham. It is time for Crashing the Boards, my favorite time of the week. It is, of course, the favorite time of the week. Glad you're with us tonight. Um, still plenty of things to talk about. I don't think we've exhausted all of the topics, certainly with the Oklahoma City Thunder and, and moving parts. Um, but I think we have to start, and it, it's, it is sort of a, a thunderish topic with Kevin Durant and James Harden still playing in the Western Conference Finals. Look, the... Uh, the Warriors blew out the Rockets in game three. They lead that series two games to one. Anything strike you as strange or different or this is pretty much what we expected? Well, I like my eggs over and easy. That's what this series is. It's <laughs> yes. over. Uh, it's I, easy. I, I, no, no doubt. I like that. And good. the league is over and the league yeah, is easy for Kevin right. Durant and the Golden State Warriors. That's what happens. We knew this was going to happen on July 4th, 2016. Like a 73 win team gets Kevin. It's a wrap. And it's, it's just it's it's amazing to me, too. Yep. People were like. Oh, Kevin has to go to the Warriors. They play this beautiful brand of basketball. Kevin just had to score in isolation in Oklahoma City. It's exactly what he's doing now. He's just he's one of the best all-time scorers in isolation one-on-one. -on -one. It's what he does. So it's just crazy to me that narrative was there. And Kevin's never going to get the proper credit he's due because he joined this team. Everyone on Twitter just still rips him because he joined this team. He, he's the definition of that old cliche, if you can't beat him, join him. And really, it's ruined what was a competitive, fun, entertaining league no it's no longer any of those things I, you're right about that um, a couple of months ago I picked the Houston Rockets to win the NBA championship as we got closer to, the, to these playoffs <laughs> and certainly the Western Conference Finals I couldn't back away from it I was pot committed at that point uh, but it didn't feel as good certainly about it and when the Warriors play when the Warriors play well you, nobody has a chance to beat them um, the, the Rockets have zero percent chance to win this series and I mean zero and we're talking about a 65 win Rockets team uh, one with the, the MVP two Hall of Famers a great coach. They have no chance to win this series. I hate that we're still talking about the decision that Kevin Durant made. I'm not here to, to try to complain for Oklahoma City, but you are right. Um, it is a wrap for the rest of the league for the foreseeable future. And I think it's very interesting to see the criticism coming, I think, much more this year than last year from the national perspective. Um, well, Kevin will never get the credit. He's probably due and his talent yeah. uh, will receive. Um, he can win all he wants and will. He'll never be listed in the same breath as I think even LeBron James, who is his contemporary. And um, that's his decision. He's going to have to live with it. The Warriors, are, they're awesome. No one's going to beat them probably for the next four or five years. And it's too bad for the NBA because this 65-win Rockets team has zero chance to win the yeah. series. That's bad for the league. It's a wrap, and it's definitely bad for the league, no doubt about it. Uh, all right. Let's go back to uh, what we promised um, a little while ago, and that is Sam Presti. You've done a great job with all of the Thank report you. cards. And so you gave Sam Presti an A. I'd love to hear a, you dive into a little bit more of a reason why, because I think there's people out there going, what do you mean Sam Presti gets an A? Well, I know. The thunder it's, stunk. It's funny. Everywhere I go, people want Billy Donovan fired, and they want Sam Presti <laughs> fired. They just want yep. to fire everyone because yeah, the thunder no, didn't right. win. Yep. And you cannot make decisions for an NBA basketball team as an executive you can't make them in hindsight. When he made that trade to get Paul George, executive of the year was all yeah. I saw, all the headlines. And what did we say after, after Russell lost to the Rockets in the playoffs last year? He needs help. He needs stars. It's a star-driven league. Oh, the Warriors have stars. The Rockets acquired Chris Paul. You have to have them. He went and got them. He put a product on the floor that we've seen in several games this year could compete with the better teams. Just for whatever reason, it did not work out. That goes beyond Sam Presti. He put the chess pieces on the board. It's up to those chess pieces and Billy Donovan to make it work and win games, and they couldn't do it. I, I don't fault Sam Presti for any of the moves he made. Can't play Cantor. You couldn't play in his Cantor in the playoffs against the Rockets, nor Golden State. So he went and got Carmelo. Carmelo wasn't the player he thought he was. Wasn't the player I thought he was. Yep. And you can't deal in hindsight, so I give him an A. He went all in and lost, and I think you're right on the money. Would you rather have a GM that's – it's careful and does all the I mean, he went all in and tried to make the Thunder a championship contender and it didn't work out and if you want to criticize him um, for Carmelo being old and all, I think there's certainly things you can criticize Sam Presti for I don't know if I'd give him an A but he went for it and it just didn't work out but I will say this to all the people and there's plenty of them out there gotta fire Sam Presti this guy's no good he traded James Harden and Kevin Durant left and all those things and there's certainly things on his resume that he will have to live with. But they've had nine straight winning seasons. They've been to the playoffs eight times. They've been to the finals, and they've been to the Western Conference finals four different times. Um, that's doing a pretty good job. 
Are there things he'd like to have back? Sure. Is he a good GM? You bet. 95 or 99 percent of the teams would hire him. If, if that, that, that's that's exactly right. He is a good GM. Although there are things you can criticize, certainly we've been over. No GM has a 100 percent track record. But he's a good GM. Yes. And there's no way they're going to fire him. No, no way they're going to fire bad, him. That's what bad organizations Th would that, do. That's right. That's what a bad organization will do. That's now how you end up being the Kings. <laughs> yeah. You fire Sam Presti or, or the and you try to or, reinvent or the, the wheel. Or the Milwaukee Bucks over yep. the course of time. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Sam Presti's done a good job. We'll see what he can do in this offseason. Yeah, yeah, who knows about Paul George and all those things. One of the, the pieces and things that he's going to have to try to figure out is Jeremy Grant, who we talked so much about Paul George. Jeremy Grant's going to be a free agent. He's a pretty good player. Thunder, I know, would like to keep him. What are the chances that Jeremy Grant stays in OKC? Well, it all depends on Paul George, right? I mean, if they bring him back, it's going to be tough. They're going to pay luxury taxes. So, you know, more money, more problems. My man, B.I.G., said that once upon a time. <laughs> they got a lot of problems yeah. with the salary cap and Paul George. And, but Jeremy Grant, to me, has improved maybe more than any non-superstar player the Thunder have ever had, besides, like, James and Russell Westbrook and Kevin. I think Superstar he's improved guys. as much as anybody. Steve, maybe. I love the guy. I think he's a far more effective basketball player at this stage than Carmelo Anthony. I don't know if they're going to be able to keep him, though, because of the salary, tech, salary cap. I'm going to give him better than 50-50. That's 50% and greater than. Uh, I like greater than 50-50 that they're going to keep him because they want to keep him. I think they'll go into the tax to keep him, um, especially if Paul George. I think the guy who might be the odd man out is Carmelo Anthony. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with his contract. I don't think he'll be back, and I, I do know. think Jeremy Grant's got there. I believe that's There's a less than chance. sign. By the way, uh, no, 50%. If, if, it, if it was the other way, it would mean 50% was greater than the other. So it's greater it's, than 50%. Be this way. <laughs> Math teachers, call in. We'll be right back. More to talk about.